study by a major industry association NAIS National Association of Corrosion Engineers determined the annual cost of corrosion control in the United States is 279 billion dollar at the time the study was commissioned by the Federal Highway Administration the figure represented 2 to 3 percentage of US GDP researchers determined that up to 30 percentage of those costs around 83 billion dollars could be eliminated if established anti rust and anti corrosion protocol were implemented since then corrosion remains an intractable problem but advances in corrosion control have been significant there are several different industrial coatings with anti corrosion properties many also have other performance qualities making them a good all around industrial or commercial coating it is crucial to match a coating type to the substrate and to the work environment it will apply to with that in mind most workplaces will require multiple different coating systems the right coating reduces corrosion extends service life and make future maintenance easier it is not uncommon to use those coatings as a base before applying other coatings to protect the surface in many cases multiple coatings are applied to a single substrate or coatings are specially formulated for the task at hand however there are certain widely known anti corrosion coatings suitable for a range of common situations some of the best anti corrosion coatings include fluoropolymer fluoropolymer is a blend of high performance resins combined with the fluoropolymer lubricants they are formulated with a superior solid film lubricant that control abrasion by substantially reducing friction fluoropolymer is useful in very high and very low temperature environment although chosen mainly for corrosion resistance fluoropolymer is also resistant to corrosive chemical it is also has some degree of electrical resistance these combination of traits make it suitable for fasteners and oem components extending their life span epoxy epoxy is one of the most common industrial coating it is often discussed in the term of epoxy flooring systems however it can be used throughout the industrial workplaces different formulations of epoxy have radical different conductive and temperature resistance properties there are two main type of epoxy coating air dry epoxy coating and thermal cure epoxy coating air dry epoxy coating is exclusively used to form metal surfaces it imparts a high level of anti rust and anti chemical resistance a single coat of first corrosion protection at 4 to 6 mm thickness it is typically used in two and three coat system in oil and gas facilities thermal cure epoxy coating thermal cure epoxy offers some of the best anti corrosion protection in demanding industrial city high molecular weight means exceptional impact and abrasion resistance for it it's a popular coating in industries where alkali and caustic solutions are employed phosphate phosphate is a type of conversion coating for steel and other metals it has a crystalline structure formed on ferrous and metal substrate it is used for pre treatment before coating or painting an industrial surface in addition to corrosion protection it improves the friction properties of sliding components with an appropriate oil top coat it can inhibit rust on threaded components in organic zinc in organic zinc is an ideal form of corrosion protection for blast and metal surfaces it enables some of the best corrosion protection on the market and is effective against weathering salt attack and solvents coastal installation may great use of inorganic zinc coating we have found that many of the marine vessels have used this form of protection in organic zinc has the benefit of being compatible with the wide assortment of top coats that can further enhance its corrosion protection it works with epoxies phenolic acrylic silicon and many other it should be considered for chemical plants and refineries as well as silos and industrial tanks this is only a sample of anti corrosion coatings available today 
any painting plan should begin with the comprehensive site assessment detailing the environment and its facade. Only with these in mind can coating be used strategically to optimize their effect and benefit.